Hi there, it's time for a bit of Uber Grace. And I just wanted to say a few things about the wonderful scriptures that have been left for us. And what I want to say about them is Jesus, every day, never read the Bible. Okay, he didn't read the Bible every day. John the Baptist didn't read the Bible every day. Okay, Paul didn't read the Bible every day. And yet many, many people today trying to get you to grow in maturity and get the freedom and all those sort of things. But they're taking you to go into a book that is brilliant, but they're telling you to go into a book. Jesus said the spirit of truth will, is coming to you. You have the spirit of truth within you. That's what Jesus said. He didn't say, I'm sending you a book or a book. He's not sending you a book. He's sending you the spirit of truth. Okay, whole different thing. Now, the spirit of truth helps you through the Bible. The Bible is a fantastic foundation. And everything I've taught in all 90, 100 videos that I've done this year on Uber Grace are all based on the Bible. I'm not making this stuff up. This is all scriptural, biblical stuff. But you see, let me show you a, little, a few things about the Bible, right? When Jesus and Paul were around and John the Baptist, they only had the Old Testament anyway. But the Old Testament was only in the, where there was a synagogue that had some scrolls. So no one had them in the homes. They were just in the synagogue. And if you lived in a town like Philippi that didn't have a synagogue, you probably, you might have had an, an elder or something that had them at home and would have taken them out. But really, they were quite rare. Whole communities would have one a set of Old Testament scriptures in the synagogue. When the New Testament was being written, think about this for a minute, right? Paul, when he wrote the book, let's say the book of Colossians, right? And then he sent that off by courier, DPD, whatever, uh, FedEx, uh, to Colossae, right? He didn't have a copy of Colossians, right? He wrote the thing, but he didn't even have a copy of it, right? That went to the Colossians and got swapped between, you know, can you send this to Laodicea and Laodicea, they've got a letter, you read their one, right? So, I mean, they didn't have the scriptures and yet they had all this truth and all this freedom and they had all this everything. In fact, the actual Bible as we have it today, almost, because in the 1500s they took a load of books out, but certainly the Bible as we know it didn't come into being until the 400s AD. So for the first 300 and something years of the church's existence, they managed to turn the world upside down with this radical Christ lifestyle without having a New Testament between them. Didn't even exist then. So am I anti-Bible? Absolutely not. If, if you've listened and watched to any of these watch any of these videos, you know I, I love the scriptures and you know that everything I've taught, even if you don't agree with me, right, everything I've taught has come out of these scriptures, right? They are God-breathed, they're inspired by God. People have turned that into meaning that they are the inerrant word of God. First of all, Jesus is the only word of God. The Bible contains the words of God and a whole lot of other stuff. Okay, set yourself free with that one. And also, the Bible never claims to be the inerrant word of God. I mean, I'm sure there are people around that can try and make it look that way. But it doesn't say that. It says when it's God-breathed that it's inspired. I like to look at, like, say we have a singer called Ed Sheeran, don't we, here in England. And he's rather jolly good. And um, belts out a smashing ditty, so he does. And all these love songs I've heard are actually inspired by his wife, right? So his wife inspires all of his love songs, right? Okay, how many of those songs has his wife written? Probably absolutely none. That's, that's not her job. His job is the songwriting, right? So God inspires the scriptures. Which ones has he written? None of them. But inspired by the idea of God, the thought of God, the life of God, the love of God. Inspired by everything that God is and can be within us. People have written incredibly helpful stuff for us to get our heads round. And we've turned that, we've all joined the Flat Bible Society. And we've all turned that into a very rigid set of, this is God has written this. When he breathed it, he dictated it to the writers. No, that's an occult practice called automatic writing. That didn't happen. 
You've even got Paul saying in one place, at least one place, I actually don't know, haven't got nothing from the Spirit on this subject. This is what I would do. So what's that bit? Is that scripture? Of course it is. Scripture is just script. All script is, is inspired by God and is useful. It's brilliant, it's wonderful, it's life-giving. But so many people have taken a hold of the Bible, weaponized it for religious purposes instead of the freedom purposes that Christ has set us free for. Oh, wow, it's an amazing life and there's so many keys hidden there in those scriptures. Wow, it's an exciting thing. But if you, if you come at it, from a very worldly, academic, wrong view of God kind of goggles on when you're reading it, you can get it completely wrong. And then the more you get into it, the more wrong and entrenched in that wrongness you get. Really causes people problems. And then people throw it out and say, I don't believe it at all. No, that's, not, that's not fair. That's, that's, not, that's really sad, isn't it? Because the scriptures are mint, man. Mint, bruv. Anyway... You have a great day. Enjoy drawing life from the scriptures. And I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to share, like, comment, or if you're on the YouTube channel, uh, please subscribe. And I will see you soon. Bye.